Welcome back to the most news in the morning as job cuts and the housing crisis catch more and more homeowners in the crossfire. Mortgages and defaults are skyrocketing, but one congresswoman says she's sick of bailouts for Wall Street and nothing for the folks who might soon be living on Main Street. She's telling her constituents to become squatters in their own homes. Drew Griffin has the story. The notices came to her home in April. Andrea Geis's bank foreclosed on her. Behind in payments, out of work, a husband sick, she had nowhere to go. So she decided to follow the advice of her congresswoman and go nowhere. Geis is part of a new movement in the housing crisis, squatters. For lack of a better term, you're kind of squatting in this house, aren't you? Basically, yes. More than 4,000 properties were foreclosed on in Toledo's Lucas County last year. This year, it could be worse. Elected officials are saying Toledo is not in a recession, it is a depression. It is this bleak backdrop that inspired Toledo Congresswoman Marcy Kaptur to take the floor of the House earlier this month to tell her constituents to stay put. So I say to the American people, you'll be squatters in your own homes. Don't you leave. Kaptur says she has had it with government bailouts for Wall Street banks, but nothing for homeowners. She is advocating for a legal revolution, a demand that not one of her constituents leaves their home without an attorney and a fight. Even if they've been foreclosed on, don't leave. If they've had no legal representation of a high quality, I tell them stay in their homes. Captor is behind a strategy called Produce the Note. Mortgages have been so divvied up on Wall Street that banks are having a hard time finding that original paperwork adding a delay to foreclosures. She is also pushing banks to rework loans, especially those banks getting bailouts and holding mortgages of folks getting tossed out. They're vultures. They prey on our property assets. And I guess the reason I'm so adamant on this is because I know property law and its power to um, protect the individual homeowner and I believe that 99.9 percent .9 of our people have not have have not had good legal representation in this without a lawyer Andrea Geis bought a one hundred forty seven thousand dollar home with nearly forty thousand dollars down I should have had an attorney I really should have had the attorney I did not know she admits she didn't read the paperwork didn't learn until it was too late she had a subprime loan. Her payments of $883 a month jumped in a year to more than $1,500. When it did, she stopped paying. So they foreclosed on you? They have foreclosed on me. So what do the banks say? Well, the law firm representing the bank in Geis's foreclosure declined comment. Another one of the banks, Geis believes, holds her note. Wells Fargo, Kieran, said it wouldn't comment on individual cases, but tries to work with homeowners. Well, now that homeowner, backed by her congressman, Karen, is simply not budging. It is, and it's a situation that we see replayed all over the country. The other thing is people say they have been having trouble as they try to reach out, make contact, and figure out if there's some way to rework their loan. Yeah, in many cases, you just can't talk to the person. You get in these phone trees, or you're dealing with uh, brokers who are working for the loans. It's very, very difficult to get through the red tape. Wow. Very uh, interesting stuff. We'll see if, uh, if the uh, Congresswoman gets other support from, uh, from uh, her colleagues as well. Drew Griffin, thanks so much.